How are you guys? Welcome back. We got a rainy day out there and we're stuck in the garage. And what's better than doing a maintenance on our Panigale V4? So, we're removing the front wheel, installing new brake pads, and showing you how it's the right way to put your front wheel on again. And I'm saying so because you can put it wrong and you're gonna be using half of your front suspension. Let's get into it. Bang! What we're gonna need is brake pads, a socket, 30 mil, an Allen key for our calipers, 8 mil, another one, 6 mil, a torque wrench, and a brake cleaner. And most important, we need a stand. Let's start. We start from removing our axle and the main. And we continue with by removing the screws under the forks. Once we remove those screws, we go to our brake calipers. Make sure you don't lose this. Give it a good play and pull it out in this sort of way, sideways and back. Easy. We go and do the same on the other side. Once we did the calipers on both sides, it's time to remove the wheel, get it out of the way. To take off your front wheel easy, by only using your hands, you do this. First, you push the axle from the other side in and this pops out. Bang, we got it. Now that you have the axle out on this side and you can grab it, you still push with your hand from under to lift a bit the wheel to give it a bit of a play. You do that and it's simple. You pull it up. Play some of the axle so you don't get it dirty. Make sure that the calipers are not in the way. Remove the spacers. A thing when you pull out that I want to give you attention, you can easily damage your front wheel sensor. That's our sensor. And you can see with that part of the disc, when we're pulling it out, it can easily hit it and damage it. So when you pull out the wheel, make sure it has enough clearance there. Not to damage the sensor, I have to, have to run to Ducati and pay dollars for them. So now that we've removed the wheel, we can go ahead and uh, deal with our brake pads. Let's remove our brake pads first and install the new ones. There is a tricky way of removing easy the brake pads out of the brake caliper and that's because of a spring tension that is on the back. Come closer so you can see what I'll be pushing and how I'm going to be pushing it on the side. One, two. You push it in and on the side. Let's do it again. In and out. And after that, pretty easy to come out. One, two. Take your hand, grab it, and pull the pistons in on the one side and the other, other side. One side, pistons in, and on the other side. And you need to push the pistons in because the new brake pads have more food and you need them to slide through the disc. Ha! 
how we put them in. Make sure it's sitting on the bottom, it's straight, and you push it back and in. Simple. Take the other one, give it a put for push, so it can be flat, having to do with the pistons. Take the other one. Pretty simple. We go on the other side and we do the same. Brake pads change. Now, sometimes removing the old brake pads, you're gonna see it's full of brake dust. Grab a brake cleaner, give it a good spray, give it a good wash before you put the new ones because whatever is cleaner always performs better. Another thing that is a good time to do once you have removed the front wheel is take your axle, take your spacers, give them a good clean, give them a good grease before you put them on again. And we're ready to put on the wheel again. Make sure that you have on the other side, the side where the clutch is, you have what the sensor is ready. We're putting the spacers on. And time for the wheel to go back on the bike. We push it in straight. We're careful again with that small sensor. We don't want to hit it with the disc on the clutch side. And we push our wheel in. The caliper's out of the way. Grab your axle. Lift your wheel. Put the axle in on one side. And push it to go through onto the other side. Once you got the axle in and you, it the thread touched the other side but it's still not fully through, don't worry, let the wheel, don't play too much and break your hands. The reason that it doesn't go easy through is that the forks are not fully straight. They're, they've gone a bit like that. That's why the axle, it's not easy to go through. And that's why we need to be careful from now on what we're we doing until we finish. Give it a hit or two and it's gonna go in. The nut we took off. And I want you to tighten it until the other side starts spinning. We're doing that so we can bring a bit straight the axle, the forks and everything. We put the calipers on so we won't have them playing around, but we don't tie them. There is a quite important reason why we hand tied the calipers for now. We're gonna come back to that. Finishing with the wheel. The nut is still spinning. Yeah, it's still spinning. We go ahead and we tie the two screws under the boot of the fork. Use a top range, quite important. 19 nanometers for that one. Double check by going left and right. Now that we tied up that side, what we need to do is the most important thing after putting on a wheel. We need to get a very good play with our stand and leave the wheel on the bottom. And you go ahead now and you can tie this side. Why are we doing that? The spacers to the boot of the front suspension and to the rim have a play. That plays there in order to have a straight line with our two forks. If we don't play with it by pushing in, tightening in one side the other, what happens is instead of being straight, it might be a bit on an angle. By being a bit on an angle, the front suspension doesn't work. The front suspension, suspension doesn't work on a super bike. Good luck. Let's go on the other side and finish with tightening 
The Big Nut. Front wheel tight. We just need to finish with our calipers. Now with the calipers, first thing I want you to do is I want you to go on the top on the lever and start pressing it because as you can see, now it's working. We spin our wheel and we brake. We spin our wheel and we brake. And by doing that in the small tire that we had hand tied to them before, they're fully aligned with our disc and we can give them a good tight now. 40 nanometers. I was noisy. And that's how you take off a front wheel, you change your calipers and you put on your front wheel the right way. More technical small tips to come, once it's fully raining out there, and I'll see you at the next one. Bang!